Hello everybody, my name is Virus Little Boy, and I'm back to bring you guys another video. Today we will be looking at Windows Memphis Beta Build 1488. Now, setup looks completely different. So we can see a couple of changes. The background has changed just a tiny bit. The sidebar is now black, which is probably I believe it's going to stay like that from from the RTM version. Everything else kind of looks the same. So this is the official beta 1 build of Memphis. And the bio state that I had to use to use this build was uh, April 25th, 1997. So we're getting a little bit closer and closer and closer. This is a couple weeks after the after um 1423. So we can see we, they have a lot of changes. There's not too many changes, but there's some prominent changes here. So we're gonna restart the computer. Starting Memphis. There we go. Microsoft Memphis Beta One. New set. New screen right there. Here we go. So gotta set up some new hardware. Now setting up plug and play stuff. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. All right. So Windows password is what it wants me to do. So let's. Uh, that key icon changed, I believe. Okay. All right. Let's do okay. Okay, I don't want a password. All right, going right back to setup. That's um, that's amazing. Okay, that's nice. All right, it's a uh, no problem for me. Gotta let it do its thing before we can actually get into the build. Actually. All right, doing the time zone. Just uh, your regular old things as everyone says these builds do. You know. Here we go. So I don't want to install a printer because I don't have one. And here we go. Windows Memphis. There's a couple of new things here. It's a little bug. The <laughs> internet icon doesn't have anything. Instant system update. Here we go. So Memphis still looks kind of the same. Let's see programs. Oh, there's a new folder. There's a new folder. It's C. A multimedia calculator still looks the same. Nothing changed about calculator. Here we go. Memphis bug reporting. Cannot read file. Oh, gotta connect to the internet. Okay. Let's connect to the internet. Oh, here we go. Give us some new options now. Here we go. Let's do that. Connect using my local area network. No, I don't use proxy server. Do you want to set up an email, internet email now? Nope, I do not want that. Do you want to set up your internet news account? No, nope, I do not. Do you want to set up your directory LDPA account? No. Here we go. Let's go right in here. Problem with shortcut. Okay. Let's try it again. Here's Microsoft Internet Explorer Suite. I believe this is IE4. Don't quote me. Which is part of the oh here we go so it's basically saying that this is only for beta for only beta testers only and that if you're not a beta tester then you have to click away so here we go this is to submit bug reports to tell the developers like what happened if there was any bugs in the software starting here let's let's submit a bug report and see how this goes so is this the system that you're experiencing yes go problem severity Let's see no boot yeah <laughs> no boot I can't boot into this and <laughs> won't let me go any further well that's disappointing please make a choice <laughs> there's nothing else I can make a choice about all right oh she's instant system update what's this oh I guess nothing okay great that's good so internet Microsoft Internet Explorer Let's go to Google and see where that's going to take us. Takes us nowhere. Yeah, it's perfect. Ah, good old IE, don't you think? There we go. So let's see. So here's our Memphis beta guide, apparently. Gonna have to show you how to guide yourself around Windows Memphis. Here we go. Mm -hmm. We got our Memphis release notes here. So let's let that uh, load up. If it'll ever load up, as I assume. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to load up. Come on. Let's see, this is build 1488. I guess it doesn't want to load up. It's stuck on WordPad. Oh no, that's not good. Okay. So it bugged out. Oh, here we go. That is a long list, I'll tell you that. Those are all the release notes. What's in Memphis? Oh my god, jeez. Okay. Let's go to the start menu and let's just start looking at some of the amazing programs you can use. We got system tools, 
bug reporting system information utility. Okay. Interesting. Let's go to... Okay. Let's see. Notepad still has that little bug where it doesn't show the right icon, as always. Um, let's see. Program. What's in that C folder? So, online registration. No modem is available on the system. No. Christ, you'd have a properly configured modem. So I need a modem. I'm forced to have a modem, but unfortunately, I don't have a modem at all. So, mm, let's see. Let's go to paint. Paint still looks the same. Nothing different. <laughs> Good smiley face, I assume. Here we go. Let's continue on. Pressing on. This uh, more accessories. There's the C folder. Programs. IE4. Huh. That's weird. Oh, my documents. Okay, so Internet Suite. Here's our main folder. File manager still in there. Surprisingly, the file manager still in there. Got our online services. Startup is nothing as always. Beta guide and frame. All right. Here's the help desk. This is a new thing. Microsoft Internet Explorer Suite. Frame. Oh, no, it's telling us for the bug reporter. Okay. So I don't want bug reporting. I kind of want to go somewhere else. Okay. Let's go uh, to the computer, see what we got. Alright. Moved some of the stuff that was in there. Active desktop. Huh. Here we go. Let's go further, further, further. What's the Winver? Let's see. <laughs> Windows 95. It still refers to itself as Windows 95. Amazing, Microsoft. You do a very good job at <laughs> your little detailing here. Alright, what do we got here? So there's a couple of settings that changed here. I don't see some of the stuff that I saw last time. Hmm. It's odd. Let's go to properties and see what it says. It's got Windows Memphis 1488, and then it shows IE4, so I was corrected that it was being IE4. That's nice. All right, what's that little thing? Subscriptions. Smart favorites. Okay, that's a little weird. Hmm. Let's go to properties in here. So this is our little properties for that. Hmm, it said Windows right there. Hmm. Okay, so what else is in here? Um, did I just look? I think I looked at everything I could around here. Hmm. Nothing else I can see that would be of use, I believe. I'm just scanning through this. Here we go. Um, hmm. Let's go to Task Manager. Task Manager still looks the same. Nothing's changed about Task Manager. Alright. So, I believe that's about it. Yeah. I think, that's, I think that's, all of, that's all the time I have right now. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for continuing to support my channel. I very much appreciate it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And please share the videos if you guys enjoy it. If you guys are enjoying my videos, please share them. So you guys can share my videos with everyone for anyone else who would like to see them. Thank you guys for the continued support. Virus Alertable. Signing off.